Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Resident Evil 3. We are getting close to the end, I believe. Just got a few nasties to take care of, because I want to make sure I've got plenty of supplies. Dead. Thank you. Did you leave anything in here for me? A green herb? I'll do, I suppose. There's a zombie missing. There you are. You're just taking a nap. Right. Need to find find one more fuse. Good to go. I think it might be down that ladder over there I started going down before. Let's run back to the safe room, dump some equipment off. Clear up some space. Okay, looking good. I'll keep my current load out. Three spare spaces, that should be enough. Hunters. I foolishly hoped we'd seen the last of them. Where are you? Oh, yeah, I can't go that way. There we go. Oh, you're not there anymore, Nikolai. I'm guessing I have to put these in in order. Right, you're three. Two. And then one. Excellent. Oh, you didn't even hang around, Nikolai. You coward. Shit, he got away. What was he 
he doing in here? No, don't want to save. Not yet, at least. Um, mag ammo, explosive rounds. Stock up my handgun ammo. Got those there. Alright, what's this about? Unfinished activity log. 1300 infiltrate Raccoon City, disturbances are sporadic, commencing mission. Observed 5 RPD officers engaging a pack, 20 strong, officers annihilated in 20 minutes. Test run at university, diverted pack, including canines, to campus 64% infection and conversion in 2 hours, no survivors. Successful rendezvous with MV platoon, Mikhail Victor, I imagine that is, will make first attempt at dawn. Diverted pack toward command post, result night skirmish in confined area with large number of combatants video attached end of skirmish seven survivors unknown bioweapon deployed at point d18 tracking it per orders it appears to be on the hunt got eyes on two stars a male infected and female bioweapon is pursuing the female Female, Jill Valentine, has made contact with Mikhail Victor Platoon. Bioweapons appearance and behaviour are consistent with Project N. Investigating. Observed bioweapon welding conventional weapons. It seems to be strongly fixated on terminating Jill Valentine and knows the city layout. Evidence it can be imprinted. Metamorphosis in the bioweapon triggered by hostile encounter with Jill Valentine. Video attached. Jill Valentine has been infected and is non-responsive. Collected samples per orders. Over 17 hours have elapsed since Jill Valentine's exposure to the virus. Con conversion has been slow, suggesting she may be resistant. Vaccine recovered and administered to Jill Valentine by CO assault by Carlos Oliveira, a soldier in MV Platoon. Jill Valentine expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post exposure. It seems clear the bioweapon is Project N. Contact with JV causes it to change and evolve. Will induce further encounters to obtain more precise data. Tyrell. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Oh. They'll call out the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. Oh, I can't save. That's right, I've got a, an auto save. That's fine then. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. I'm not sure I trust you, but we'll see. I definitely don't trust Nikolai. Carlos, he's a good boy. We like Carlos, though. Sure you don't need to stop? Stop and do what? I got your back. All right, let's get this done. This has trap written all over it. Where's all my upgrades gone for that gun? Whoa! Hey, Nemi! Keep going. We're almost there. Oh shit! Okay, guessing Tyro was on the up and up. Bye, Tyrell. Ah, 
one of these again. The Pursuer. Oh yeah, that was what Nemesis was originally called back in the day. Right, so I'm going to need a key card or something. Okay, what goes where? Okay, we've got a save room. Nest 2, employee regulations. Attention Nest 2 employees, the objectives of this TY's research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main Nest facility. Here we focus on real world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced such as the need for T-virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Bio Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail. In, pati in particular, unauthorised entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honour to be part of the finest research org organisation in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. Ooh, got a map of Nest 2. Thank you kindly. Let's make some more shotties. Alright, we're fine for now. You there. Green herb. Dump you in there for now. All clear. Excellent. sure it was really worth coming down this way but meh never mind at least the area is cleared are you gonna turn or are you gonna stay down like a good boy ah oh, I, I think this is probably where nemesis was created Should probably make more mag ammo just to make sure I've got plenty. You can never go wrong with enough mag ammo. Okay, it looks like I need to put something to in begin here. Vaccine synthesis. Place the materials in the chamber. Synthesis? I have to make it myself? <sighs> Alright, gotta figure this out. Alright. Override key successfully generated. What have we here? Override key removed. Okay. So what do I do with this? Emergency security key used in Nest 2 allows employees to override security protocols in the event of emergency evacuation. Ah, cool, so I can now go into locked rooms with that. I've got one. I think there was only one locked door, wasn't there? Override complete. 
Hey. Do I still have it on me? No. Oh. Come on. Stop panic shooting. I see you. Another one. Wait. If I put you down, you stay down. Shipping notice, cargo nemesis. Shipping route, CDG, JFK, RC. Shipment date, September 1st, 98. Class 1 hazardous materials. All transit within the United States is to be made via helicopter. Take extreme care during takeoff and landing, as shock to the parcel may potentially lead to self-activation. We here at the European branch are excited to hear your thoughts and evaluation of this newest prototype and are pleased to offer this specimen to you for testing. It has been through numerous trials and, and possesses incredible destructive power, so please exercise extreme caution when using it. Lead developer Dr. Herman Frankel. Shotgun shells. Damn it. Uh -oh. No, not examine. Discard those. I'm not going to get rid of the shotgun shells because they're actually important. Right, let's explore upstairs first. I hear you, where are you? <laughs> Ooh, got a note. Weapon authorization request. Dear Dr. Emerson, I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employees interfacing with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. These, te these test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weaponry authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutation granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as paleheads. They have been appearing with regularity, but, there's, but the specific cause has not yet been determined. The astonishing rate at which these paleheads regenerate makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. If any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, we would be woefully underprepared to defend ourselves. For this reason, I would like to request that high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the power heads is be issued to all of our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that this will ensure that in the event of an emergency we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration, shipping and processing manager Gabriel Reed. Oh I got yellow got yellow. I don't know what it means, but I got yellow. Am I 
might be able to use this to synthesize the vaccine. Well, I'm guessing I have to go to several different places to get various different parts of, of it. We'll go back around this way then. Where'd you come from? you're just a dead human. Oh, hello. I saw you. Oh, acid rounds. Oh, running out of room for things. Stay down. What's in this? First aid spray. Damn it. That's actually useful. I'm assuming what I'm doing is correct. Oh, yes. Behind this door, then. Why did my handprint open it? No. <sighs> These are tyrants. Tyrants and hunters. They don't look. They don't look like they were successful tyrants. Yeah, these are all malformed, so these weren't successful attempts. Jesus. Is this where they're made? Oh, crap. Don't you dare. No! Get off! Oh, fuck off. God damn it. Can you not? Thank you. Okay, we've got here. Expression of concern. 
Senior Fellow Dr. Frankel, please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella HQ, Umbrella Europe, for completing Nemesis, a truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research. Introducing a parasite organism into a tyrant's brain to gain external control of it? How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? However, from a medical perspective, I must emphatically state my dis disapproval of this shift away from established umbrella policy. By turning to the use of parasites, you are using a dangerous you are setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like Plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the T-virus, and to think that they will, will submit to control is utter folly. Perhaps in your country consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America they know better. No. Let's not get onto that. You want a good car? Europe. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you've foisted on us. Sincerely, Nathaniel Bard, PhD. So it's called the Nemesis. Yes, Jill. Isn't it delightful? <sighs> Ooh, I, ha I have green or blue. Can I combine it with that? Yes. Okay, I've got... Now I've got green. I don't know what green is, but it's green and that can only be good. How are we doing for time? We're doing good, we're doing good. But I need health. Right, so we've got the vaccine base. Hopefully that should be everything. I knew it! No! Don't you dare! No! Oh, for good... Fucking hell! I knew it was not going to be as simple as leave the things in their tubes they were going to break out oh I hate hunters so much right let's go for the explodey rounds are you serious I've got to go through all that shit again. Oh my god. Right. I'm going to end this episode here. I can't believe that. I, couldn't you at least have auto-saved after I picked up the other bit of the vaccine? Fuck you, game. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, and ding that bell. I've been Sigmalator. This has been Resident Evil Bullshittery, and I will catch you next time. Take care now.